Paint me green and call me a cucumber. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Boot Hill Bounties. Part 2, technically. It's uh, part of a three-part series all about the West. And you know how much I love the West, because I used to live in the West. Alright, let's start it. So, uh, this is Kid and Doc and his dog Rusty. And they've been running around the woods looking for their friend Rosie and Moon. This is like super at the start of the game, just kind of skipping some tutorial stuff. Um, all of the enemies are seeable on the screen, which uh, most people will compare this game to Earthbound. So I think that's uh, an accurate kind of representation. Although after each battle you uh, end up healing all of your health, but status conditions stay a thing. So I think it's kind of interesting. This family of hairs is challenging us for this territory. Well, no way. We're gonna fucking do them up, aren't we? I'm gonna go ahead and pump with Doc and uh, smash with Kid. And pump is going to uh, up the damage of my next shooty attack. So that should be quite nice. I'll go ahead and smash that last rabbit. And uh, I, think, I think this should work relatively well. We are getting beat up just a little bit, but they're just, they're just rabbits! What the hell? You can beat up three rabbits. All you need is a baseball bat. Boom! That didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. But that's okay. We'll try and blast that thing. Finish it up. You uh, can press Y and it will show you what sort of uh, attack it is. Or you could just use it. That always works pretty well as well. Experiment. Rabbits agree to let you pass. Thank you, rabbits. I guess you could talk to people in this world. The dog does a lot of talking, which I think is interesting. And then uh, you can see my hat is going to level up, which actually gives me new uh, techniques. They're called vantages in this game, which c that's because they give you a vantage. If you use them correctly, they can give you a vantage in battle. That's supposed to be advantage. Uh, Swellsville to the west. Ghost Rock is where we were. We want to go to the Snake Tail River. So I will uh, head over that way. Just want to pick up these regents off the ground. These are used to make uh, recovery items, basically. 100% recovery items. See if I can sneak up on this bunny. Oh, and he's got some squirrely friends. <clears throat> I was barking at that funny white rabbit, and now it's back to fight with his friends. Well, you put us in some shit, didn't you? Didn't you? Let's try and think before we act, shall we? So, uh, Blast is going to go to the next available target, which I think is relatively useful. You don't have to, like, cancel the action or anything like that. And these squirrels are just getting messed up. Tell you what, boy. Kind of sad to watch. You want me to be real honest? <laughs> the rodents have scattered. Won't bother us no more. And, uh, they give you a grade at the end of combat based on how much damage you took and things like that. And we've reached, uh, level 2 with, uh, Kid Stetson. Which I guess is a type of hat. I'm not really like a hat connoisseur or anything like that. But we can learn a kick. Which um, might be good somehow. Beagle Bay just staggers a target. So mm, I don't really understand what stagger does, does quite yet. I think it interrupts uh, stances and stuff like that. Which might be good to keep around. Dodge obviously is a useful thing. I'm just going to keep my current. If I find something that uh, obviously I can't pass up, then, then we'll replace a technique, but just know that we can replace a technique. Hey, over here! Uh-oh, it's Kana Talmadge! There's so many characters in this game, it's kind of hard to keep track of them. But this is definitely Connor Talmadge. <laughs> what happened to the bridge? Chip Quick took it out yesterday? Sorry, it'll take me a couple days to fix it. Why did they destroy the bridge? Four ways from the valley, any reason that that there would be hostile Chepequick in this area. The Chepequick are the engines for the for the uninitiated. Couldn't tell you. My only job's to maintain this bridge to Swellsville. I'm keeping me and my kin out of this bickering with the Indians. Have you seen our partners? You said the Chepequick destroyed this bridge. Was there a girl with them? A squaw, huh? Not likely. These look like fighting bucks to me. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be on my way then. Good luck to you, folks. Thank you so much. I haven't noticed the dialogue options um, <clears throat> really changing up the story that much, the story or the responses, but uh, it's interesting. It's kind of nice little addition. 
And look, that fish is chasing after me in the river. But he can't go on land. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid fish. Hey, look! <clears throat> There's Moon. Moon Dancer, there you are. Uh-oh. She's mad too. No, wait, behind us. Just behind us, don't worry. She's not gonna... She's not gonna murder us. These seagulls think we're competing for the fish here. Well, let's kill them. That's what we do. That's what we humans do. Ha ha! We'll go ahead and uh, focus fire on one. And that should go relatively well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep doing the thing. Oh, she has like a an AoE attack. Lunar Crush. Let's do that. Let's see if it'll knock some stuff out. Oh, Doc's Blast was able to take that first seagull out. Well, that's just fine. I don't worry about that none too much. And it doesn't even do that much damage. Nine? Hmm. But they do have different damage types in this game. As you can see, that Lunar Crush, uh, mental damage. Which I think is interesting. Blast him! Blast him good! And then the, uh, tackle should be able to take him down. Bam! 15 damage in the face! Seagulls flew away to find a new source of food. That's right, this is my food that I'm not gonna eat. You get out of here! And we gotta level up for the, uh, fedora. Now we've got bounty. Regain power if this attack defeats the target. Oh, that might be kind of cool if something is, uh, low on health. I don't see myself using cold cock too much. Try to stun the enemy. Actually, that's pretty good. I'm gonna replace pump. Just because I want to replace the technique. See how it goes. And, uh, here's Moondancer's introduction, which Doc got basically the same treatment. We've also got Rosie, who, uh, is going to show up eventually, and she's... She's like a cowgirl, you know? She worked for rodeo, stuff like that. She's got some pretty cool techniques. Moondancer is mostly, like, uh, the healer of the group, which we will need some healing shortly as we, uh, attempt to cross the next little bit. I was trying to listen to the river, but you two make so much noise, it's no wonder the animals get so disturbed by your presence. We were waiting all night at Ghost Rock while you were listening to a river. Don't you know the Chepequeak destroyed the bridge? I know. I was hoping the river could tell me why my people would do this. Hmm, what did the river say? Also, a river can't talk. It speaks incessantly. The water exclaims as it crashes against every rock and twig. I listen to these arguments and learn. But today it sounds different. Better than just asking a person? People can only reveal the truth as they see it. But on Togpa, the great voice from the earth shows us... Uh, pure truth. Mm-hmm. We Matanya! We praise you, great We Matanya! That's, uh, King of the Hill reference. <laughs> there are logs caught in the waterfall. They're creating new conversations with the water. That's why Snake Tail River sounds different today. This must have something to do with why the Champlain Kirk destroyed the bridge. Yeah, I reckon so! There's a lot of, uh, slang. I like the slang when they throw it in there. Might be able to use that old tree to cross the river. Let's keep moving. We still haven't found Rosie. But we gonna! And then, uh, you get quests from the dog, but I'm not gonna bother with that just yet. Up, oh, up! Oh, this thing that I totally didn't know it was here. Yes, I did. Thought I was stepping on a rock, but now this turtle's hopping mad. The party starts with extra power for getting a jump on the en enemy. Well, that's good. Let's, uh, cold cock that sucker. Shazam! Right in the face! And, uh, go ahead and blast it, smash it. I guess some more archery couldn't hurt. We're doing some pretty good damage against this thing. It's not easy to, uh, to defeat, though. I think my first time through this game, the turtle handed me my shit. I was like, I think it's impassable. No, you just have to be smarter. Even though you heal between battles, uh, that means that some of the battles can drag on for a very long time. Uh, and then one of your allies gets knocked out, and it takes them uh, a certain amount of time to recover, which I think is pretty cool. See? Kid got knocked out, so he's gonna recover in 10 seconds. We just have to uh, focus on keeping people alive up until the... He's back on his feet. Maybe I should cold cock that thing again. Just keep it stunned. That's that's gonna be the best way to do this, I do think. And then, um... We will need to use Moonlight. We'll do it on Doc. Just wait until Kid wakes up. Cold cock that sucker. One more gear. Alright, kid should be back on his feet anytime now. Oh god. Oh boy. 
The turtle's so mean. Why are you so mean, Mr. Turtle? All I wanted to do was cross the river. He's angry as shit. Alright, Doc took some damage. I'm gonna go ahead and moonlight him. Because, you know, I'm a moon dancer. I'm dancing on the moon. It's different than Michael Jackson. Moonwalker, you see? Very different. And now the turtle's using shell. I'm gonna go ahead and try and cold cock it anyways. See how that work? Keep that thing stunned. It's the only way through. We'll get some tackles going. A little more archery's good. This thing's gonna... gonna fall. You can see he's tilting around. All willy-nilly. Cold cock again. Poor turtle. Don't you feel kinda bad for him? Oh god! He knocked the piss out of Doc. That's alright. Doc is the, uh, the cold cocker, so this thing's not going to be stunned, which uh, is kind of troubling. So maybe I should save power on Moondancer, just in case I need to heal. No, he used Shell. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to do great things. Shell! Shell! It blocked that critical hit pretty good. I think we might be able to take it down. I need to cancel that archery and get Moonlight on Doc. There we go. Be healed by the power of the moon! Ha ha! Alright, so this thing's about to attack again. You can tell by that little blue bar on the bottom. But that's alright. Down you go. Ha pa! The turtle agreed to be a stepping stone <laughs> after he was dead. That's right! We're humans! We rule this land! And now Moon's headband has leveled up. Flame arrow. That sounds so awesome. Power cost of six? That's hefty. I'm gonna replace Dodge, though. They seem to be hitting Kid most of all. Uh, and Kid also gets Tumble. Successfully evade a physical attack but lose all remaining power and then drop the stance. I don't wanna... No! That's not any better than Dodge. Keep the courage. I'm not in love with the Stepson. It's not a great hat, but uh, you do get the chance to get some different hats and things like that. Leap in front of attacks on hurt party members. That's interesting. Hmm. Barrage, a series of rapid-fire shots. Blast, damage from a big gun. Bounty, regain power if the attack defeats the target. But how much power is the question? Isn't it? Stun an enemy with cold cock. I guess I'll keep the current. I'm not uh, edumacated enough to really make stabs at what I should or should not be doing. So, uh... We'll just roll with what's working. It's working for now. Oh, I tried to cross this thing, but guess what? Beavers! Beavers everywhere! You need to cross the creek with the pass blocked by a beaver dam. Don't worry, they'll let us step on their house once we kill them all. <laughs> and it's much like the how the West was won, isn't it? I'm gonna go ahead and try that flame arrow out. Oh, but he's got a stick for it. He's blocking some, uh, some attacks. That's not good. Mud pit? Uh, I don't know what that does. Here we go. Flame arrow. Set him on fire! There you go, beaver. How you like that shit? Uh Get him good. And, uh, obviously status effects are pretty important in this game. You want as many status effects as you can get. There, Rusty helping me out with the little beagle bay. So I'm gonna be able to, uh, knock these things over relatively easy. Even if they build up their little stick fort. I'm like, whatever, dude. Ain't no big thing. It's Lunar Crush. And I'll finish that one in the middle off. ba -boo. I like how they fall over. They look, uh, kind of papery. You know, Paper Mario style. I also want to get some Moonlight going. I'll heal myself. Because you always got to heal the healer. If the healer dies, then, then what's the point? What's the point anymore? The one on the left has his stick fort back up, which ain't good. Get some moonlight going on Doc. There we go. That's how we do it. And, uh, go ahead and smash. Smash, blast, and a bit of flame arrow. That's do you nicely. And their AoE attacks don't do that much damage, which I guess is good. This game is uh, coming out on December 15th, so approximately three days from when you see this video. And they already have the first installment released. Uh, all of them are relatively well-priced, in my opinion. Could be a longer game, but um, yeah. 
they decide to do it in installments, which I guess is good. If you like the first one, then you can go for the second one instead of paying, uh, you know, instead of paying $30 for the whole shebang -a bang you can get a little bit at a time. Get what you can afford. Don't worry, the beavers can rebuild their home. That's right. Now get to work, you dead-ass beavers. And there we go, another vantage. Harvest increases material drop rate. No, no thank you. I suppose it would be a good thing if uh, you're fighting an enemy that you know drops the material that you need. But uh, I don't really know what any of the materials are or do just yet. So uh, we're, we're just going to continue doing what we do. Oh, that scorpion's mad. Look at these scorpions. Disturb these elderly gram prawns. Oh, they're, they're gram prawns. Like a grandpa prawn. I see what's going on here. Alright. We'll go ahead and get the thing going. Get my barrage up. Heck yeah. The one on the right is using shell? Well, that's not gonna help you out too much, is it? Hmm. We need to tackle. We need to tackle something. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good amount of damage right there. I tell you what. Let's get some more flame arrow. I don't think we need the healing. Everything's gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Set him on fire. That's how we do it around here. And he rams Moon, which uh, didn't do that much damage. He's gonna go down. Relatively easy fight once you get past the turtle. Uh, but the turtle did give a shit ton of experience. And these ones don't so much. But I guess that's fine. We shall continue on. And there's a shell, a lovely regent, which I'm sure can be used for a purpose. Uh, a purpose to be unveiled at some later date. And you can see uh, Kid and Doc both have status ailments now, unfortunately. Go ahead and push this tree over. I'm telling you, this this uh, Indian princess would be upset by a lot of the actions that we're taking here. But oh well, we got to do what we got to do. we cowboys. Can't you see it? Look at me, I got a hat, that means I'm a cowboy. Mercy me, there's another Indian. Don't worry, Miss Talmadge. Moondance is a Chepaquick princess, she's not here to harm you. I'm angry. I'm not a princess. I'm simply the daughter of the peace chief. But we have no concept of royal blood. Oh, those noble savages. <laughs> Doc Finch, what are you doing here? Connor Talmadge was attacked by the Chepaquick while trying to repair the bridge. I came to attend him. Oh my. That's the guy we just talked to. You must be Rosie's friend. She's inside my home looking after the little one. Come on in. I just baked some cornbread. Cornbread? Oh, I'm going to get on top of that. I tell you what. Cornpone and possum shanks. Yes, sir. I could do with a little sit down. And uh, let's harvest some stuff. Yeah, harvest all the things. Carrots and lettuce and eggs. What do you got for me, Mr. Goat? Some cheese. Wow. That came out. Solidified goat milk came out of your teats. Interesting. Other than some unruly wildlife, we've never had an attack like this. My husband was put here to maintain the bridge, not to fight off savages. Indeed. I typically charge for my services, but these people need your help. If any of you have wounds, I can remove them for free. What seems to be the trouble? Uh, patch me up, Doc. And he has many, many, uh... Remedies and such. He's like, you want, you want some of this Madstone rub? Yep, kills the rabies virus. Kid and Doc both have the rabies, rabies virus. So Kid was cured. Let me go ahead and cure Doc up as well. Sweet. And uh, we could learn all these different techniques. Bandage. Uh, Doc already knows the technique for bandage. Okay, well. We got Lockjaw. We got Burn Ointment. Uh, what's this? Champlain's Invigorant. Stimulates fatigue. Oh, you don't want fatigue. That's true. Cures consumption. Oh, we got a bad case of the consumption. Cures a concussion. Cures gangrene. My goodness. And I guess that's all. Those are all the status ailments. I know concussion can make you forget moves, because, uh, I've had that happen to me before. Boyd Talmadge. A horse with a black white stripes? You mean like a skunk? No way. I ain't biting Miss Rosie. I daren't be fibbing you, boy. You used to work in a circus. I seen all sorts of things like that. That's true, she did. Can I have this? Barrel? Wonderful. 
I want the honey too, and the flour, and the cheese, and give me some of this liquor. We need some whiskey. Me and the me and the squaw are gonna drink some fire water. You friends of Rosie? Yeah, I think so. Hi, Rosie. How you living? Gasp! I didn't see you walking in here, even though I was facing the fucking the stairs. Paint me green and call me a cucumber. Golly Jiminy, if it ain't Doc Moon and Kid. I really like all of those uh, old-timey phrases. Paint me green and call me a cucumber. What you talk about, girl? I ain't gonna do neither of those things. That is outlandish and hilarious. And, uh, Kid is up against this gang. See, I think this is from the first game, so they're kind of uh, reliving things from the first game. Kid was swindled out of some money, and uh, the Saints little gang blame the, the engines for some bad doings. And then they're like, hey, we gotta take down that gang. And then they popped up again. Y'all looking a bit older since the last late on you kid, you slicking your hair back with burger grease? Rosie, do you know anything about the Chepaquick who attacked Mr. Talmadge? Nah. I was just chewing the rag with this button until you got here. But what are we waiting for? Let's go check it out. Just like old times. I do remember those old times. I, I would really like that game. The first, the first installment of this game could be quite pleasing to me, uh, but I usually prefer to wait until series are complete and things like that before I start in on them. But this might be a good one. Who knows? Distressed Southern accent. Help! Oh, please, somebody help! Oh, oh, I guess we better go help. Came from up the road, probably at the bridge. Boy, sounded a mite familiar. It could be another attack. Let's hurry. Yes, indeed. Let us rush just this way. Ha ha! We aren't rushing fast enough. That's what happens when we travel in a group. It's hard to rush. We got some yellow bread. There was a fox over there I could kill. And here's another fox attacking a fellow on the road. No good. These mean old foxes are picking up... Picking on this here hurt fella. They sure are. That's not okay. We'll teach them a lesson they won't soon forget, eh? Uh, let's see what her skills do. Whip, a normal rope attack. Okay. Tumble, evade, next physical attack. We covered that already. That was on Kid Stetson as well. Hog tie, 90% chance of par paralysis. That's nice. Dust off, revives an incapacitated teammate. Huh. Well, that could be quite useful, could it not? Let's go ahead and beagle bay to snap this black fox out of his dodginess. I think that's gonna work just fine. He, I missed my barrage because the Beagle Bay didn't come out fast enough. So that kind of sucks. But we need to get some moonlight going for Doc. There you go. Let's hog tie this here, fella. That's right! You thought you were dodging, now you ain't. How's that? How's that? I wanna get a flame arrow. And he's stumbling around. Still dodging, though. So I'm not quite sure what that does. Hmm, the stumble is quite a mystery to me, from what I can tell. And it is hard to control four characters at the same time. Luckily, they do have some uh, couch co-op, where you can split up the characters between you and your friends, if you have any friends. Which, uh, you know. And nobody wants to play most of these games with me. I just gotta sit here and do it all myself. You know how that go? Tell you what. What a, what a life. Oh, and we critical that shit. Look at that. Flipping far and away. And he got like the Team Rocket. Team Rocket's blasting off again! I should get some moonlight going for Doc. Kid is knocked out, so I could uh, try and revive him. I will dust off. Well, he's almost back on his feet, anyways. We should keep this, uh, we should keep this Black Fox hogtied. We got a hog time! See how that go? And we'll get uh, Kid back on his feet. There you go. He's definitely got some ailments on him now. Rabies? Oh no. See what happens? With all the rabies? He's taking some damage from poison. So that ain't good. Moonlight ain't gonna cure your poison. You can sit out in the moon all night. And uh, you're still probably gonna be dead. Unfortunately, the character who went down is the character that's used to revive people when they go down. So, um, that's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Let's keep Doc on his feet. Whoa! Guess it doesn't matter. 
elk gonna spring back up? That'll teach him, said the girl who was lying on the ground unconscious. Yeah, I guess it will, won't it? We've got trip as a vantage. Opponent loses one power and chooses another action to charge. One power? That's not that much. I'll replace dodge with it. I don't find myself using dodge all that much. Hey, fella, y'all right? Are you okay, sir? Oh, he's dead. Victor Bass... Bassengain? Bassgain. It was an ambush. They destroyed the bridge. Please help Mr. Comfort. Just up the road. Hurry! Okay, I will. Oh, snap. The fat man, white man. <laughs> He's being attacked by these savages. Oh, please, these terrible engines have destroyed the bridge and set an ambush for me. Ah, that's quite unfortunate. War Chief Yellow Qu Cloud, why are you attacking this man? This thief and his people have been chopping down trees on our land using the Snake Tail River to carry them to the White Man's city. I've always taken lumber from the Chappaquick Valley, and none of you idiots ever gave me trouble before! That was past. Today, we are at war with your people. This man trespassed on our land and desecrated our forests. He will be our prisoner now. Well, uh... Let's see, you're putting us all in danger? I, I don't think he did nothing wrong. But really, you're putting us all in danger. Let's defuse the situation. We're not assigning blame here. Tensions are high enough as it is with this war. An attack like this is only going to lead to more violence on both sides. This war has already started. There are casualties on both sides. The cause of this conflict is no longer important to me. Am I not the daughter of our chief flying trout? Will you not heed my command to cease this attack and return to the valley, Yellow Cloud? The Peace Chief no longer holds sway among the Chepaquick. His attempt to placate men like this has dishonored us. Now I lead the Chepaquick. If you don't oppose me, you are an enemy. Oh snap! Get ready to fight! I could try and cure uh, some status ailments, but I'm not really sure... I'm not really sure what do. So uh, I guess we'll just... We'll just let it... let it be! Let it fly! Here we go! Oh, look at all of them. Wound answer. I won't let you stand in our way. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna get you. We're gonna go ahead and get you. Go ahead and stun that guy. Maybe we should be aiming for him first, since he's like the leader and stuff. That seems to be a good idea. Let's go ahead and tie up one of these guys. There you go. Get all hogtied. Oh boy. Let's get a uh, moonlight on Doc. I don't want him to go down. And we'll go ahead and aim for the center. Wait till you see the watch in their eyes, boys! And, uh, I think they're gonna regret this decision. I tell you what. Tackle, tackle, whip, tackle, tumble, hogtie. Oh, man. They're not doing that much damage. The turtle was uh, a bit scarier to me. Look at that crit! Oh, and I got sucker punched. Sucker punched by an engine! Ain't that how it goes. You fight like warriors, but you lack the leadership to defeat us. He's right. Yellow Clan's leadership stance increases the power regeneration rate of their entire party. If we can disrupt that stance, we can keep them from overpowering us. Do any of us have a bandage that can stagger Yellow Cloud? I think that Beagle Bay, right? So I was right. It does disrupt stances and the like. Let's keep uh, Rosie on the feet. Let's go ahead and Beagle Bay against him. Oh my god. Unfortunately, our uh, our cowgirl's gone down. You done now, cowgirl? Well, he's been staggered, so their regeneration rate is slowed. And he's about to go down, from what I could tell. So, uh, we'll just keep doing that. Let us keep at him. Ha ha! Get the smash, get the barrage, do the thing. Oh boy. Moondancer's gonna eat shit. We need to keep her healed. There you go. Nice big heal for ya. That's nice, isn't it? Alright. Took his buddy down. How you like that shit? You engines? Uh, I'm gonna shoot this hawk in the face. That's what we do. And... Smash. Under my leadership, the Chippequick are unbeatable. Are you sure about that? Are you really sure? Do you want to think about what you're saying? 
as your allies fall around you? Hmm? Perhaps, maybe? Uh, let's go ahead and tackle... Tackle that guy on the horse. And we'll hog tie his hawk. Yeah! That's gonna work out nice. I do like how things pause just a little bit during combat, so it's not completely overwhelming. Not 100% real time. But yeah, this, uh, this fella's gonna go down. Right quick, I tell you what. Alright, a little bit of moonlight for Rosie. Oh, critical! And that's that. That's what we do around here. So that was basically like the first boss, I guess, defeated. You fight well, but this is not over. It seems pretty over. Sky Twinkle. Kid defeated an enemy with a critical hit. Yeah. Yay, yeah, did. Good boy. That boy, I tell you what. Counterattack with a basic attack when hit. Hmm. No. <laughs> I don't think I want that. Got apple, a blue bead, a red bead, a little bit of Chepaquick jerky. Delicious Chepaquick jerky. Enough. You should not fight his enemies. What the fuck? You started this shit, dude. Hello? Are you just gonna leave? Moon Dancer, you're too much like your father. His foolish ways will bring destruction to our people. Sooner or later you will see this. Maybe. Perhaps, but not today. Maha! I did not mean to upset the Chebaquick, but I needed that lumber to finally repair the railroad. If you did not intervene, Victor and I... Ugh, I didn't want to think about it. How can I ever thank you? Um, money would be nice. <laughs> I know you're a rich man, Mr. Comfort. Any financial assistance you could provide would definitely help us in our quest. Sadly, I've lost my wallet during the scuffle, but perhaps there's something else I can give you. Oh, I've had this since I came to Bronco County, all the way from Georgia a decade ago. In the South, we often say that hats keep the head cork so his wild temperaments don't spill. Yes, sir, the hat makes the man, so even though you already got a hat, maybe wearing this one will change your disposition. In plain speak, I'm saying that wearing this different hat will give you a different set of advantages, so give it a try. Ah, oh, cool! We got a rich man hat. The Panama hat is for fat cats. I want to be a fat cat. And now, Victor and I must continue on our way to Swearsville. Okay, short little detour after you're almost uh, scalped by Indians. Well, it looks like he's already been scalped. See? Because he ain't got no hair! Ha ha ha! Good one. Good one, Dayton. Thanks so much. Uh, if you're in town, stop by the train depot and say hello. I will do just that. Wonderful. What an adventure we've had today, wasn't it? I guess it was. <laughs> oh, are you staring in the water, are you? Moon, what is he? Yellow Cloud and his warriors, they had black paint on their faces. That means they've killed someone recently. I didn't realize the situation had deteriorated so much. We were supposed to stop this war, but it's already started, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess. One problem at a time. My stomach's rumbling. Can't we get something to eat? It is getting dark. Let's find a place to stay the night and put together a plan. I don't want to impose any more on the Talmages. Kid, don't you live near here? <laughs> yeah, I do. Kid Swarm's just over Boot Hill to the northeast. Well, sure, just invite yourselves, everyone. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Anyways, this is where I'm going to call it for now. If you like the look of Boot Hill Bounties, don't hesitate to go check it out on Steam. The link is in the description. Um, it seems pretty promising. There's a little bit of uh, strangeness with the controls, but uh, the combat is relatively enjoyable. And the story, most of all, is probably what captures me. Um, just just really, really nice game to kick back, especially if you like the Old West, which I do, because the West is the best. Uh, or so they tell me. Anyways... <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. This has been Boot Hill Bounties Pop 2. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always appreciated. We've got Discord links, Twitter links, Patreon links down below. If you'd like to support me in any of those ways, that would be much appreciated. I will see you in the next one, whatever we decide to do next. Let me know if you want to see some more of this game because I'd be happy to bring it to you. Uh, though probably starting from part one, that would be uh, ideal for me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching once more. 
I'll see you in the next one, friends, and until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.